Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on this GATE 2022 statistics. Today we will discuss about question number 57 which is related to the Markov chain process. We will again solve this question with the help of the 15 second trick so that you may able to understand it in a quick manner. You can simply follow uh, before watching this you can simply follow my telegram link as well as the channel name so that you may able to get these various tricks in a easy manner. So let's start with this one. So first of all you have to think that why this question is a Markov chain question. So if you look about that what is the probability in the third experiment you have to find the probability in the third experiment and everything which is for an experiment which is given to you here. So it means this thing is changes with respect to the time. So anything which is changes with respect to time you can always solve with the help of Markov process. So once it's a Markov process the first target is to write the transition matrix. So let's see what is the size of this matrix. So there are the two foods so it means that transition matrix is my food A food B R. What is given to you? 70% of the cats that had the food A will prefer the food A again. 50% of the cat who had the food B will prefer the food A in the next step. Fine. Now once you have the two numbers, we all know that the sum of the row is my 1, it is my point 0.3, it is my point. Now what is your required probability? You want to find the probability, the percentage means the probability of the cat who prefer food A in the third attempt. This is your target. It means your target is to find the state probability A and B. Okay, the, the whatever the answer is given to you here is the right answer. So how we can solve that? We will discuss about is a very simple manner. We can find this state probability like of K0 because the time period is 3 we can see here. What is the K0? Initial probability of the cat is 40% is food for the food A. It means 0.4 is the initial for the A and this is B. So what is that? This is a 0.4. This is the 0.6. Now you can find the P cube. Once we know the P, we you can use the calculator. You can find the P square. What is the P square? Is 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and again 0 0.5. This 0 0.3 here. So you can simply say it's a 49. Then it's a 54. It's a 0 0.64 because we know the sum is one. So there is no need to compute the second value. 35, 50, 35, 50, 60. So definitely this number is my 40. Now we can compute the P4, a P is cube, that is my 0 0.64, 0 0.36, 0 0.40, 0 0.60, multiply by 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So since whatever we can multiply, we need only the first answer, that means the first column is enough. So once you multiply them, 0 0.64 into 7 and this, so this will be my 0 0.628, this number is my point. 6, 2 and you can easily compute this number as 1 minus. Now you can find the final answer 0 0.4 into 0 0.6 this plus 0 0.6 into 0 0.62. So you can use the calculator you will get the answer as 0 0.61 here. So now you have to write in the terms of the percentage 61.32 percentage is the right answer. So since percentage is already given so what you have to mark in the is 61.32 is the right so remember that this p cube because uh, you have the calculator examination you can simply solve this p cube with the help of calculator substitute its value and so on so if somebody asks you in the uh, in, in the examination of the food b so this is the answer of the point 0.6132 so what is the answer of this you, you all know the sum will be one you can subtract as a one minus that's a quite obvious like this is the answer of three at the point b but here this is the right answer of the point 61.32 is the correct answer. I hope you can understand this Markov chain in a very simple manner. We, you can see other previous videos also on the Markov process. Uh, we will see the question number 58, 59, 60 and others question in the, in the next videos. Again with the help of this kind of the shortcut tricks. You can simply follow my playlist uh, Gate Statistics channel name Dr. Harishkar with the help of the various shortcut tricks. You can like, share and comment these videos so that other students may also be able to remember. Thank you very much students. Best of all.